Hello and welcome to Government with Dr. Turner. Today we're going to describe how women have fought for equality and the changing role of women in American politics. The struggle for women's suffrage began in Seneca Falls, New York in 1848. The word suffrage has Latin roots and means the right to vote. Women were part of the abolitionist movement in hopes that when slaves were freed and suffrage was bestowed, it would also be given to women. However, their hopes were dashed when the 14th Amendment made the first ever mention of gender in the Constitution. It affirmed that male citizens should be able to vote, and the 15th Amendment affirmed that the right to vote shall not be denied on the account of race. Women raised public awareness through lobbying, parades, picketing, and even acts of civil disobedience. However, success came from gaining the support of states that would eventually be called on to ratify any amendment granting women the right to vote. Women gained the right to vote by a strategy of gaining the right to vote in states where they had support and expanding their support over time. Unlike with African American men and the 15th Amendment, the passage of the 19th Amendment effectively ended the struggle for women's suffrage. Many women played important roles in the Civil Rights Movement, and discrimination on account of gender was prohibited by the Civil Rights Act of 1964. But the women's movement wanted to create a clearer judicial standard for deciding cases of sex discrimination. The Equal Rights Amendment was initially proposed in Congress in 1923, but was not approved until 1972. The Equal Rights Amendment was never added to the Constitution, in part because court decisions contemporaneous to its ratification battle began to address gender discrimination. The ERA also faced opposition from conservative women and labor feminists. Ultimately, it was not approved by the required number of states before the ratification deadline. Regarding the status of women in contemporary politics, Women are the most underrepresented group in Congress, but electoral politics always lags social and demographic change. In other words, we see changes around us in society, but it takes a while for elected positions in politics to catch up. In the 2016 presidential race, the woman candidate received a majority of the popular vote, but did not get the necessary majority of the electoral college. Women have enjoyed increased opportunities in the workforce and in leadership positions. More progress is needed in the areas of reproductive choice, access to childcare, and economic inequalities. Let's review. Women gained the right to vote by a strategy of gaining the right to vote in states where they had support and expanding their support over time. The Equal Rights Amendment was never added to the Constitution in part because court decisions contemporaneous to its ratification battle began to address gender discrimination. Regarding the status of women in contemporary politics, women are the most underrepresented group in Congress. <laughs>